Hey YouTube, Skipper T here. We're going to start a series on the Prepping Bushcrafter Survivalist Library series of information. It is absolutely imperative that you have written information. Now, I am a proponent of books. I love books. I do a lot of reading. I find great enjoyment in it. Um, but I also find a great amount of knowledge in these books. Um, I know in today's society, a lot of people don't like to read, oh, I'm going to go watch the movie or whatever. Well, you know, in a real life, no kidding, you know, natural disaster, man-made situation, STHF scenario, um, or SHTF scenario, rather, you know what, you may or may not have the ability to watch a movie, watch another one of these YouTube videos. And if you don't have this information at your fingertips in the form of the written word, um, you know, quite frankly, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Um, your chances of survival are gonna go, well, pretty much down to zip. Um, you know, luck, luck may take you so far, brawn might take you a little bit, uh, further, but without a basic understanding of how to prepare, how to survive in various situations, um, you know, how to start a garden and plan it. This is a great book, you know, for, for that it's called the Vegetable Garden Bible. I'll talk about that in another video in greater detail. You know, wild edible plants, this book is chock full of them. This one here talks about ed edible, but more importantly, medicinal types of plants. Uh, for example, this book shows you how to use a basic compass, how to navigate from point A to point B. Um, the SAS Survival Book. You know, this is one I carry in my backpack with me because it covers just about everything and it's got a little bit of all of this in it. Um, if I needed a quick resource, this would be the one I would have in my backpack or the pack that I carry in the back of my car. I know there are two great, absolutely wonderful books, these two here, written by a guy that back in the early 80s went off grid, long before any of the rest of us were even thinking about it or talking about it. And this guy went back and researched Native American ways of doing things, the Indians, the Eskimos, um, ancient peoples in general and wrote up two books on things that are just absolutely wonderful. It's, uh, it's sometimes it's a little bit dry in the reading, uh, but the guy has a great sense of humor and that definitely helps out. But the skills that are involved in that are, are phenomenal. And he, he went back and he did the research. He interviewed um, the, the older Indians, um, the elders, if you will, and wrote down all this information and went out and actually did it. Proved that it could be done. Um, Dave Canterbury with the Wilderness Outfitters. He wrote Survival uh, Bushcraft 101 here. Um, this is a great book. I like it. I like Dave. I've met him. Um, I watch his videos. I buy a lot of equipment from him. This is a great book. But I would watch you know, quite a few of his older videos. Then I would buy this book because this book kind of assumes that you've watched some of this information and it doesn't get as like granular as something like this does as far as, you know, how-to information. Absolutely great book and I actually learned quite a few things through reading it. But if I was going to go out into the wilderness, you know, I would have, I would probably have something like this or the Boy Scout Manual. The Boy Scout Manual, you do not see on this table. Um, I am going to get one. I had one when I was a kid. I have been tearing apart, you know, like seven different bookshelves that I have at home, and I don't seem to be able to put my hands on it. So I'm going to order another one because that again is an absolutely fantastic source of material. But kids, if you're gonna be out there and you wanna know where to start and what to do and to become a prepper, a bushcrafter, a survivalist, you know, this is, YouTube's a great place to start to learn these types of things, but you have to have it in written format. Prepare for any survival situation manual. Um, this one has been prepared by um, Outdoor Life magazine. I just ran across this book here in the last few days. I gotta tell you what, if you're a brand new beginner, watch the video on this book. I think this is, the, this is the place to start for you if you've never 
If you've never thought about it, you're not sure what to do, you know, you're hearing about all this and you, you that, that question mark's going around and it's floating in your mind and you're like, okay, where do I go? What do I do? How do I get started? Guess what? Here it is. This has 338 tips. Um, some really good information in here, but it is not in detail like all of the rest of this. But this will get you thinking in the right direction and will get you moving down the road to self-sufficiency. Um, like I said, I just picked this book up here uh, within the last few days. I'm extremely impressed with this book. Uh, I highly recommend this, especially for those of you that are just getting started. Anyway, guys, stay with me. We're going to put a whole playlist together. We're going to go through each one of these books. I'm not going to read them to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sure you're saying. But I'm going to flip through the pages. I'm going to give you a little bit of the information that's inside of them, what they entail, and whether or not I think they're a decent book. I will have to say that everything on the table I have read... Um, I, I still have these two books, and we'll talk about that in the video, but uh, I haven't read these in their entirety, but oh my God, I just got these for Christmas, and these guys went out and did it, and these are great. Um, these stay on, on my bookshelf, you know, right where, actually the table right next to where to my chair, so that I can pick it up and read a chapter or a few pages, you know, three, four times a week, because it has that much information in it. But anyway, guys, stay with me. Um, thanks for watching. And like I said, I'll put a playlist together for this and we'll kind of go through each one of these books. But again, if you're going to survive a situation, you have to have the written word in a book format because you can't, I cannot guarantee it, the government cannot guarantee it, you cannot guarantee that your iPad, your iPhone, your ebooks are going to work. Okay? So make sure you get this information in a printed format, put yourselves a bookshelf together. And then, quite frankly, get outside and have some serious fun. Learn some new skills. Take better care of yourself and your loved ones. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the series. Have a great day.